On April 23rd, a U.S. State Department spokesman said that the United States will not host a Russia-NATO Council meeting during the upcoming NATO summit in Chicago. Following talks with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov on Tuesday, Tajik President Emomali Rahman said negotiations were being streamlined to ensure Russia's military presence in Tajikistan is extended beyond 2014. While the two issues may seem unrelated at first glance, they are both actually two crucial elements in the push-and-pull relationship between Russia and the U.S. in the security sphere. It is no surprise that the Russian NATO Council will not be held. The U.S. and Russia have not made any progress on coming to terms on their main issue of contention, the U.S. missile defense scheme in Europe. Given that this was the topic that Russia wanted to discuss at the summit, the cancellation of this meeting indicates that the two sides remain at loggerheads over the issue. While the BMD issue is one of the major sticking points that has prevented the U.S. from achieving a true reset with Russia, it is not the only security-related concern for Moscow. Due to its vast size and lack of natural barriers for protection, Russia has an inherently insecure geographic and therefore geopolitical position. This pertains to not only in Central and Eastern Europe, where the U.S. BMD system is concerned, but also in other post-Soviet areas, like the Caucasus and Central Asia. Russia knows that the U.S. will not significantly budge on the BMD issue for the time being, and therefore has instead been laying the groundwork in strengthening its security portfolio elsewhere. This includes its own military buildup in areas like Kaliningrad, Transnistria, and Belarus to counter the BMD system. It is also strengthening the size and scope of Russian-dominated security groups like the Collective Security Treaty Organization, or CSTO. The extensions of Russia's lease of its military bases in Tajikistan, which houses the largest deployment of Russian troops abroad with 7,500 servicemen, can also be seen in this regard. These moves not only allow Moscow to strengthen its security position, but also to build leverage over the U.S., if and when the Americans are ready to come to the table on BMD. Tajikistan is an especially interesting case given its proximity to Afghanistan. It serves as a major route of drug smuggling from Afghanistan, as well as an important part of the logistical chain of supplies for U.S. and NATO troops into the country under the Northern Distribution Network, or NDN. Therefore, an extension of Russia's military presence in Tajikistan would not only serve to strengthen Russia's influence in the country, but would also be a reminder of a lever Moscow could use if the U.S. remains inflexible over the BMD issue.